senior Katie Christofferson here. Team that got to the championship game last year in Division IV. Uh, now you're back to the semifinals. Uh, talk what, it, what it's like going back there a second time. It's, it's super cool to be back. I can't wait until this the week is over, but I'm super excited to get there. Okay. Uh, from talking to Coach Arnest and he was talking about how nervous you guys were at the sectional, is it true what they say? It's harder to get there than to actually it's be there. It's definitely harder to to get there than it is to just be there. The nerves set in way harder because you know you lose, you go home. Mm -hmm. Okay. Talk about the balance that this team has and how well that can serve you at, at Green Bay and just what you hope to be two games. Even our posts can dribble the ball, so if they need to bring up the ball sometime or we can put us guards in the post and make something happen, that's super cool. All right, Mara Rosmodoro Sr., Erica Simmons here. Uh, a big, big couple of games coming up for the Mustangs, going back to state for the second year in a row. Being a senior, talk about how important it was. I mean, everybody wants to go play at this thing, but getting so close last year, talk about how important it is to get the second chance. Last year was a big year for us just because it was our first time going and I was a junior, but I think that this year is almost, um, you know, it's, it means a lot to me this year just being a senior. It's, our, it's my last go at it, my last chance to kind of do it, and I want to do it for the community and the, my teammates. We all have waited a long time to get to this point. Okay. There were some obstacles this year uh, that uh, maybe you guys didn't have to deal with last year. Uh, Katie Christopher's with a shoulder, you had an ankle, which you didn't miss time for, but still looked like a horrific yeah. injury. Uh, Mesa got hurt. Talk about overcoming that this year and, and still getting to where you wanted to be. You know, we did um, have some obstacles this year, injuries. Um, there were some other little things here and there, you know, but I think that only made us stronger in the end. Um, our bench players really had to step up for their game and the other four starters got used to maybe missing a game without one of the other five starters and I think overall it made us a stronger team. Alright, now we have Mindoro girls basketball coach Joey Arneson. Neither of us are going to laugh this time. Uh, <laughs> the, the Mustangs headed back to state for a second time in a row. Talk a little bit about how this one's a little different than last year. You know, I think the expectations at the beginning of the season were a little high. And so on a coaching, I was honestly a little sense of relief that, hey, we, we did it. You know, we, we really built up a nice program. We were successful throughout the season. The community has been outstanding. I mean, we've been filling up the gyms at each, each game we've played in. You know, that's been really nice to see. The excitement level is unbelievable. You have kids wearing green and gold all day. You know, they talk about their favorite players. So, yeah, there's a lot of anticipation. Okay, uh, a couple big games this year. Obviously, there were many of them, but a couple I just want to point out. Uh, first, the win over GET early in the season. You didn't have Mesa for that game. She was injured. Uh, first, talk about the significance of that one, kind of in hindsight. Yeah, you know, at, at the time, you know, we, we knew it was a big game, but we didn't realize how big of a game that was. Uh, GET really had an outstanding year. And looking back at it, that game was huge for us. And then to win it without Mesa, I mean, really shows a lot about our team depth and everything. Um, you know, it, it really established, it paced us well for the next coming games. And we kind of built off that uh, that lead and uh, that win, excuse me, and had a nice rest of the season. Uh, and then you also had a loss that you built off of, you know, losing to Blackhawk in the middle of the season or kind of toward the end. Uh, a team that was in the state finals last year, undefeated this year, so certainly a good team you went and lost to. Uh, but talk about what you took out of that end result, because you guys aren't used to losing games right No, it's been many years since we lost a regular season game. And, you know, you couldn't convince me two, three days afterwards that a loss was a good thing. Um, it was tough. You know, I was pretty down. I know the players were down. But in hindsight, it was an eye-opener to a lot of us, the coaches and the players. And it just showed us that we got to work harder. You know, we're going to have those off days like we did that day. And we've got to work harder so we don't have those off days anymore. And I think the girls have responded really well ever since that game.